And staying with business, one way of funding that's gaining in popularity is crowdfunding. It's increasingly being seen as the way forward when you're having trouble raising money for a business or a project. Projects are posted online and anyone from the world can donate. When George Tam's mother suddenly died, he had no idea where to turn. The cost of the funeral left the first year uni student struggling to pay for university. Having lost my dad just last year, mum was really the only sort of financial supporter that I still had. His friends helped him set up an online crowdfunding project. Nearly 100 people donated, raising more than $3,000. It's really life changing. Um, because I had other responsibilities and I didn't think I'd be able to come back to use it next semester. Sorry. George is one of thousands who can get on with their lives when traditional funding isn't available. Crowdfunding gets projects off the ground. You submit a proposal online and set a fundraising goal. They're pitching the idea, their passion um, for this project and seeing if it resonates with other people. The creators of this smartwatch wanted to raise $10,000 over 38 days. More than 68,000 people have already pledged money, raising more than 1,000 times the initial goal. Australian site Possible has become one of the biggest crowdfunding platforms in the world. People are more valuing um, the experience um, and the participation in creative projects um, as much as getting something tangible in return. Around the world, there are more than 500 crowdfunding platforms. In 2011, it's estimated they raised more than $1 billion. But the power of the online crowd keeps growing. In just the first six months of this year, it's estimated those platforms raised more than $5 billion. Film producer Enzo Tedeschi discovered the platform was also a way to build a fan base. In the case of filmmaking, it's a, it's a way for the audience to interact with the filmmakers. You know, when, you, when you've established that, with an audience that sort of relationship and they like what you do and you know what they're doing then that's something that you're able to carry on uh, indefinitely. His 2011 film The Tunnel was one of the first feature-length movies to raise capital through crowdfunding bringing in around $50,000 to kickstart production. Funding from traditional screen bodies can be challenging for a first-time filmmaker because it's, it's very hard to prove yourself if you haven't proved, proven yourself. It's unlikely to take over from bank loans or government grants, but crowdfunding's proof a little bit does indeed go a very long way. Shanti Benjamin, World News Australia.